G'day everyone and welcome to Pepsing. Now in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to format and stylize your Discord text, which includes how to make colored Discord text. So the structure of this video is from easiest Discord formatting to the most difficult. So depending on what you wanna see, you can go to the timestamps in the description below and find what you're looking for and how to format the text you're looking for. Or you can look through the chapters in the scroll bar here on the actual video timeline and find what you're looking for. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. So starting with the most simple, we're gonna go through things like italics, bold, underlines, all the kind of simple stuff, but still useful to know in how to format your text. So the first one is italics. You can actually do this two ways. The first one here is with an underscore on either side. For reference, this is what normal Discord text looks like. Next one we have is the asterisk on either side. This also gives you italic text, but as you will see, the asterisk is more useful when trying to create more complicated text. Bold lettering is simply two asterisks on either side. If you do three asterisks on either side, it combines both the bold and italic and gives you bold italic text. If you wanna underline your text, just simply put two underscores on either side and you got yourself some underlined text. And if you're wondering, three underscores does give you italic underlined text. If you want to strike through your text, that is, have a line through the middle of your text, all you need to do is add two tildes to either side. To find this, it is above the tab key and to the left of the number one key. And to get the tilde, you would need to press shift at the same time. So if you put two on either side, you get a strike through. To create a spoiler text, which has the black bar in front of the words like this, all you need to do is add two vertical bars to either side of the word that you type in the middle, and it will give you a spoiler text in which you can click to reveal the text. Now, a few more quick things to mention before I begin. Firstly, colored text won't be available on mobile devices. So if you're using a mobile and wanna get colored, this video won't help you out very much because the colored text is using some sort of code and the mobiles just don't work with that. Secondly, holding shift and then pressing enter gives you a new line to use in your text box rather than just pressing enter, which will send the message. Now on the same key as the tilde I just mentioned, the little squiggly line, we have the single quote. And if you put one of those on either side of a word, then you get highlighted text. It's a bit hard to see, but it is highlighted in black. The final interesting one to mention is this forward slash right here, which opens you up to a couple commands that you can automatically click and use. Now, I don't know how many people know of this. So if you want to quickly add a table flip or a shrug, people might be wondering how you did that so quickly. Now the final one is the backslash. The backslash actually cancels out the text that is in front of it. For example, here we have the asterisk directly after the backslash. Due to this, the backslash is gonna cancel the commands of the asterisk. And so typically you would have italics between two asterisks, but in this case, nothing happens. Now to emphasize once more, the forward slash cancels out the character that is directly after it. So as demonstration, I have two asterisks on the left here and one on the right. I, have one, I only have one on the right because as you will see, this one will get canceled. So we're gonna have just one asterisk on either side, which should give us italics. You can see the leftover asterisk right here. This is the character that was canceled out and is simply sent as text rather than an actual command. Now, some of you may be wondering, can we add all of these text formats together? And the answer is mostly yes. And of course, I'm gonna give it a try showing you guys the maximum amount of formatting you can do in one text. Now, because of the spoiler formatting, I can't add highlighting because as you can see, spoilers are already pretty well highlighted. So besides that, we have pretty much every command there is. And as you can see, when I send it, we get it spoiled and pretty much everything. We have a bold, italic, underline, strike through, spoiled, table flip. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Now, a few more simple formats you can do that aren't directly based on the text is first one quote bars. All you simply do is put this forward arrow and then you can write whatever you want. Then you can write whatever you want and you'll end up with a quote bar, which is pretty cool. You end up with this cool little line on the left and would look pretty good in certain areas of your server, such as the rules maybe, or anything that has a large block of text that you wanna make look a little more neat. You can add this quote bar here and it will look good. Another way of composing your text is having multiple box lines of text. As you can see above here, this is what it looks like. It's very similar to highlighted text, except you get this whole black box for your text and you can add as many lines as you want. All you need to do is add three single quotes at the beginning and end of the paragraph and you'll end up with box lines. 
Another command that may be useful is non-embedded URLs. As you can see, if you post a normal link through the chat, you'll end up with some sort of embedded link. Whether that be an image or a video, you'll most likely have something pop up below here. However, if you don't want anything to pop up during your sentence or paragraph in which you've added a link, you can simply non-embed the URL by adding two of these arrows to either side. You wanna have the right facing arrow on the left side and the left facing arrow on the right side. Finally, if you're looking to make invisible text, there are a couple ways to do this, but an easy one that I know how to do is simply adding two underscores with a space between each other. And as you can see, you get invisible text. So that is all you need to know for the simple text formatting. And now we'll move on to colored text. All right guys, for the color text, I'm gonna first show you the quickest, easiest, fastest way you can do each color for the colored text. And then after that, I'm gonna show you other codes and other ways of getting pretty much the same color. But if you wanna do it differently, there's so many other ways, as I'll show you here, so many different codes that you can implement to get the same colors. Some other codes allow highlighting and other fancy sort of stuff, and I'll do that at the very end. So for the quickest way to do each color, firstly, I'll show you how to type the color coding. If you wanna get colored, all you have to do is add three single quotes at the very start. Then what you need to do is add the language name of your color. For this example, we'll use diff. If you shift enter, then use a slash, and then type whatever you want, and then shift enter, what you need to do is add three more single quotes at the very end and then press enter and that gives you red text. So if you look back into that message, all you guys need to know is that right here, I typed a specific code that changed the color of the text within the code. Now, a quick thing to note is that all the code languages have something different about them. For diff, you need to add this slash for it to become red. For orange, just write arm at the top, A-R-M. And then all you need to do is write your message. However, with arm, you can't use spaces and need to use an underscore for each separate word. If you want to use spaces, you can type CSS and then you have to make the sentence between two square brackets. Finally, for orange, if you put CS at the top, you can just use a hashtag and then you can use spaces between each of your words in your sentence. Yellow is quite easy. Just put fix F-I-X at the top and then you can have as many words as you want with spaces and it will come out as yellow. For green, just type CSS at the top. You can type away with spaces and it will come out as a light lime green. If you do YAML, Y-A-M-L at the top, you get cyan with spaces. If you want blue, you can do I-N-I, -I, and then you have to use square brackets on the outside of the sentence, and you will end up with some blue words. If you don't like the way that's laid out, you can use the language A-S-C-I-I, DOC, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then what you need to do is when you type your sentence, you need to put four dashes below the sentence. You can also make the blue look more appealing by adding as many dashes as you want below and it will format quite nicely. And guys, that is it for the easiest way to type each of the colors. But as far as I found, these are the simplest, easiest and best looking ways of typing each color. And now guys, lastly, I'll move on to some more intricate and cooler ways of having Discord color text. These include things like highlighted words, specific colors for specific keywords, different colors for numbers, and many, many more cool things you could do with some codes. First one is text, T-E-X. After the dollar sign, the word is highlighted and one singular word is blue after the slash. If you type fix, F-I-X, the words are yellow except for after an equal sign in which they turn into cyan. A quick boring one is YAML, which turns the words gray after a hashtag. If we look at diff, just like the red text at the very top, the minus sign is red and the plus turns words green. A little more complex and we have CSS, which is green except for numbers. A word turns blue after a dot or a hash and between these squiggly brackets, everything turns gray no matter what you do. If we use Elixir, E-L-I-X-I-R, we have normal white text except for keywords such as for, in, when, while, until, and. Numbers are turned into cyan and the dollar symbol and the dollar sign highlights a word in yellow. If you wanna fade it out, then all you need to do is use the hash symbol. The final interesting one is MD. Normal text is in white. The hashtag turns all the words into blue. A positive sign turns red if it is at the start of a sentence. Between closing brackets, which are these arrows on either side, if there is no space, then the first word is blue and the rest of the words are orange. 
If there is a space between these closing brackets, then the words inside are just orange. Lastly, if the sentence is between two square brackets, then the words between become cyan. However, for the sentence to be cyan, you need to add another sentence on the same line between two rounded brackets. The words in the rounded brackets will become red. However, if you don't do this, neither of the sentences will be colored. If I break the sentence and put it on two different lines, as you can see, neither of the sentences become colored. Boom. Now guys, the final thing I'd like to say is go and experiment with all these different languages, all the different symbols that may change the color in some different way. If it's underscoring or capitals or, or a full stop, I'll link below in the description a whole list of different code languages that you can try out and see what they do. Because honestly, with the code language right in front of me, I literally just tested it out and had a look at what it did. And I found that capitals made the word yellow. So who knows with these other codes, what might happen if you add certain symbols or characters? If you found this video helpful and straight to the point, please like the video and comment below if this helped you out. Also, I'm interested to see what type of colors and codes you will figure out. So if you want to show me, join my discord in the link below, message in my general chat showing what code you're using and what certain things you found that I haven't shown in this video and I'll be sure to check it out. So join my discord link below and on screen and let me know what you found there. Finally guys, I have way more Discord videos coming out in the future such as bot tutorials, Discord setup tutorials, all different types of tutorials and secrets that you may not know about. So, so if you're interested in anything to do with Discord and like the way I do my videos, make sure you subscribe and if you want to turn on the bell notification because if you don't subscribe, it is very likely that you won't be recommended another one of my videos, which means you may never see another video of mine explaining a cool way of using Discord. And with that being said, Join my Discord. Have a good day. This has been Pepsing. Have a good one.